Hi, I'm Teru. And I'm Sydney. And this is your weekly update with the Pit News. SGB has created a new committee to focus on student health issues just in time for the cold season. The Wellness Committee, as they call it, will absorb duties and responsibilities in concern to public safety. While the committee originally overlooking such matters, the Safety and Transportation Committee, they will now be only considering material that concerns facilities and transportation. All nine committees formed by the 2013-2014 SGB worked to implement projects and improve the campus alongside the board. Mike Knight said that the board wanted to establish a committee to focus on the increasing number of board members' wellness projects. Plans for the committee include adding more variety to the dining halls and increasing the size of smaller fitness facilities. Pitt Honors College announced that it will offer new scholarship to students. The Honors College Scholarship Program will award 40 scholarships, each valued at $2,000 and applicable to tuition to any student who has participated in the Honors College. The program is set up to recognize students who excel in coursework but did not receive scholarships when admitted. Awarded to only 14 American students every year, Pitt senior David Palm is a 2014 recipient of the Churchill Scholarship. The scholarship is supported by the Winston Churchill Foundation of the United States. Palm is a chemistry, chemical engineering, and philosophy of science triple major, and also plays club soccer and guitar. In October, Palm will move to the University of Cambridge in the United Kingdom to complete his master's degree in chemistry. Pitt Program Council announced this week that hip-hop artist Tyga will be performing at this year's indoor hip-hop show. The show will take place at the Fitzgerald Fieldhouse on Saturday, March 29th, and the doors will be open at 7 p.m. Tickets are on sale now for $5 at the William Pitt Union Ticket Office. For more information, contact the Pitt Program Council office located in M30 of the William Pitt Union. On Monday, January 21st, Pitt hosted its annual Martin Luther King Day of Service to honor the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. The event was organized by the Student Volunteer Outreach Organization and chaired by graduate student Janet Pendleton. Pendleton reported that about 650 students participated in the event to volunteer at over 25 locations in the greater Pittsburgh area. Some students wrote cards to members of the armed services and the elderly, while others organized food at the Greater Pittsburgh Community Food Bank. The event was a great opportunity for students to interact and give back to the community. In 2012, Kristen Maury founded the Panther Autism Awareness Group. Since its founding, the group has acquired 15 members and hopes to eventually reach 25, which is the number of members the group needs to be recognized by Autism Speaks You, a national science and advocacy organization. Pitt News writer Joel Smith reports that secretary of the group Ben Weiner claims that having acknowledgement from Autism Speaks would publicize the, the organization, bring more legitimacy to the group, and provide funding and further opportunities for guest speakers. Approximately one week ago, appellate judge Bernard McGinley of the Commonwealth Court ruled that the law, commonly referred to as the voter ID law, is unconstitutional. Pitt News writer Gideon Bradshaw reports that McGinley's ruling reflects a nationwide trend coming at a time when both Texas and North Carolina are facing scrutiny over their own similarly restrictive and current active voter ID laws. In his decision, McGinley wrote, The right to vote, fundamental in Pennsylvania, is irreplaceable, necessitating its protection before any deprivation occurs. Despite McGinley's decision, however, the state's attorney may still turn the case over to the Supreme Court. And now over to Jesse for sports. Jesse? Thanks, Sydney. This past Tuesday, Pitt wrestler P.J. Tasser received the first ACC Wrestler of the Week honor for the Panthers, coming only two days after his match against Austin Marsden for Oklahoma State. The match went into overtime, but ended in a 3-1 victory for Tasser as he executed a beautiful double-leg takedown. Then Friday night, the number 8 Panthers defeated number 13 Virginia 25-9 as they continued their run as one of the best teams in the nation. The men's basketball team annihilated conference foe Clemson on Tuesday as the Panthers put on a shooting clinic, shooting 56% from the field in a 33-point routing of the Tigers. Then on Saturday, Jamie Dixon's crew pulled out a win in College Park, Maryland as they took out the Terps 83-79. Lamar Patterson led the way for the Panthers as he finished with 28 points, 7 assists, 7 rebounds, and 4 steals in 30 minutes of basketball. The big fella down low, Talib Zana, added 16 points and grabbed 7 rebounds to help Pitt leave the Comcast Center with their 18th win of the season. The Panthers take on the Duke Blue Devils Monday night at the Pete in a highly anticipated matchup featuring two of the best performers in all the land, Lamar Patterson and Duke's Jabari Parker. 
On the women's side, after a tough loss at the Pete against Syracuse last week, the Lady Panthers look to redeem themselves as they take on the number three team in the country, the Duke Blue Devils, Sunday afternoon in Durham, North Carolina. Well, that's it for this week's broadcast. For all of us here at the Pitt News Network, I'm Jesse Irwin. Thanks for watching.